Prince of Wilts, Charles, 69, suffers in this scorching 89F Australian heat as beads of sweat trickle down his face. He had probably hoped for a warm welcome in Australia, but perhaps not this warm. Prince Charles appeared to be struggling in the scorching heat during a full day of engagements yesterday. Beads of sweat trickled down his face as temperatures hit 89.6F, 32C, in Darwin and his discomfort was probably not helped by his full grey suit. But, with typical English stoicism, he kept his jacket resolutely buttoned and shirt firmly done up to the neck. The sweltering temperature came on the last day of the prince's week-long tour of the country. After laying a wreath at Darwin Barracks, he visited Laraqua Barracks, where he slipped while crossing a bridge. Luckily, the royal appeared uninjured after his unscheduled trip. There were no cool and sea breezes at his next stop the naval base Ms. Kunawara, and the prince, 69, could be seen sweating profusely as he set sail on a short tour of Darwin Harbour. But there was still no respite afterwards. After meeting with soldiers and their families he went on to the National Critical Care and Trauma Center and attended a reception at Government House. There, he placed a message in a time capsule and planted a tree before finally leaving for the airport to fly back to the UK. Though the prince may have found the weather trying, his enthusiasm for the Australian public was seemingly not affected. The heir to the throne said he was really touched by the crowds who had come out to greet him across the country, as well as on a visit to the South Pacific island of Vanuatu. It came as a poll conducted for newspaper The Australian found that support for the monarchy had reached a 19-year high. A survey of more than 1,600 Australians found that while support for a republic remains at 50 percent, support for the monarchy is now 41 percent. This is the double the proportion in February, when only 22 percent said that they preferred the monarchy. These are very encouraging figures, Philip Benwell national chairman of the Australian Monarchists League, told the Daily Mail last night. We were quite a way behind a few months ago and now support has soared. Mr Benwell said monarchists were now hoping that the imminent birth of a third child for the Duchess of Cambridge and the forthcoming marriage of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will boost royal popularity further. It's the highest figure in favour of the monarchy since a 1999 Republic referendum when almost 55% of Australians voted to remain part of the constitutional monarchy. Just what direct influence the seven-day visit to Australia by Prince Charles, accompanied, for the first few days, by the Duchess of Cornwall, has had on a poll has not been defined. However, Mr Benwell said the popularity of Prince Charles as he travelled through Queensland and the Northern Territory could not be ignored. He added, for a man approaching his 70th birthday to have tackled all the tasks demanded of him is admirable. He's done a marvelous job.